all you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Brittany coming at you fast with a custom class setup video. That is right, guys. Day flipping one, or at least day after flipping one. Already making a class setup videos for you guys. And if you don't believe me, why you shouldn't trust me, it's because I know life the hell out of this game. As you can see by my level, I am first prestige, level four. Let's actually go ahead to the barracks. There, you see it right here. We got a KD of 2.52, SPM of 570, and a win loss of 778. And I've been playing for 11 hours and 43 minutes. So it took me less than 12 hours of in-game now to prestige. I no life the hell out of it. I played with a lot of weapons. I tried out a lot of classes. I've done a lot of things. I even played some competitive matches of GBs, if you haven't seen those videos already. I will be posting more of them, of course, and today we will be talking about what I think are the best SMGs in the game and some pretty good classes for them that I've been using. So we're going to go into custom games for because obviously I'm level 4, I don't have them all unlocked there, but I can show you all of them here. So, uh, let's go ahead and start. So, I'm going to show you guys my top 3 SMGs and I'm going to go in order from least favorite to most favorite. So, out of the top 3, the Vesper in my opinion ranks as the third out of the top three so here's a class that i set up for it and the reason why i ranked the vesper third out of the top three that i've chosen is because it's very 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 situational it's like the scorpion from black ops 2 when you get up close with this thing it absolutely shreds it absolutely decimates and melts but that's why you need to get up close with it because its accuracy and recoil is very hard to handle because of its fast fire rate. And even with the um, grip attachments that I have here, the quick draw, maybe even stock, I think maybe adds a little bit of extra grip onto it. I'm not exactly sure. Don't quote me on that. They all still, you know, help, but the gun can still be kind of crazy with the kick. Now, sometimes the gun loves you, and it does shoot pretty straight for the first couple of bullets, which is nice. You know, it's pretty accurate, but it's nowhere near as accurate as the other two SMGs that I'll be going over uh, in this video. And so, you do have to use this very situationally and very close quarters. But up close, it is probably, in my opinion, the best SMG because it does spray so flippin' fast. The only downside to it is that it does run out of ammo pretty quickly, which is why I have extended mag on here so that you get a couple of extra bullets with it to try and get the kill because it is kind of hard to control and you do spray a lot of it out and so you do want to have a lot of ammo with it because you're going to run out of it quick nonetheless. Then long barrel is pretty typical on any SMG, increase the range uh, because SMGs have a pretty short damage fall off so you do want to have long barrel on there so that is reduced. Then you have grip for obvious purposes. But then quick draw, again, one of those typical things where you want to have an advantage over your opponent. If you see an opponent, you guys are both mid-sprint, then you're like, whoa, holy crap, you know, I got to aim down sides faster than him. Quick draw just helps you with that uh, even more. And um, yeah, with the Vesper, you're going to be sprinting out a lot. You're going to be rushing out a lot. So that is why you want to have quick draw on so that you could always be ready with it and that is also why you have fast hands so you can aim faster right after sprinting and gung-ho so you can hip fire weapon while sprinting so you can be sprinting and you see a guy and you can start shooting so you'll start off with a hip fire and then aim down sights and uh, finish them off so that's always a good combo that's how i've been experimenting with it here it's pretty useful and then perk one flag jacket uh just because with smgs uh, you're usually in close quarter situations whether that be in buildings rooms on the objectives whatever so, Flag Jacket is pretty useful. Now, mind you, these classes are set up with a competitive MLG mindset to them based on typical MLG rules. As of right now, the rules haven't been released. So, bans and, you know, protects and all that. Um, well, I mean, I guess the ban protect system does exist, but actual bans don't exist yet, whereas, where you know, they, they set the rule set. Um, so... Right now, this is kind of like the closest that I could say without an actual rule set to what a good class could be because I was using a class similar to this one when playing GBs. But anyway, let's move on to the next SMGs. Uh, next, we have the VMP. Now, this is my second favorite uh, SMG, mainly because it's very versatile, as it says in the description, has a high rate of fire, and the recoil is actually pretty 
decent to control. It's pretty accurate, and you can control it up to mid-range engagements. Now, obviously, you can't snipe with an SMG, but it is very, you know, manageable. And that's why I like it a bit more than the Vesper, because I manage to hit my shots more often with this weapon than I do with the Vesper. And it still has a pretty good fire rate, so it can hang up close indefinitely, for sure. So, on this weapon, again, being the objective player that I am, I'm going to have an objective mindset when making this class. And so, I have quick draw, again, aim down sights faster, and long barrel. Both of these things mainly just benefit the gun in, in general ways, no specific use for them, just to increase your chances in a gunfight. And then I have two concussion grenades. If I want to get down and dirty on the hard point, for example, I do have the means to do so. Flat jacket and fast hands are going to be pretty standard in my classes. Um, and then also ghost will appear eventually, occasionally, as you guys will see soon. Uh, so, uh, yeah, expect to see flag jacket and fast hands a lot. I don't expect to explain them every single time, because you guys should understand the point of those. Uh, they're pretty self-explanatory. Gung-ho, again, with an SMG, I feel like gung-ho is very, very, very useful, because it lets you get that first shot off uh, when you're hip-firing, because SMGs do have an accurate hip-fire, so you can easily switch from hip-fire to aiming down sights while sprinting uh, with this kind of class setup, which will give you advantage in every single way. If you're able to shave off as much time as possible uh, between seeing the enemy and actually shooting him and hitting him, then by all means, take that chance and take that opportunity. And Tac Mask is... Amazing. I think Tack Mask is the best brick of the game because these concussions, man, they're a bitch, okay? They are incredibly, incredibly annoying to deal with. So having Tack Mask really, really helps you out with those. And obviously, you don't want to be stunning yourself, so you want to be wearing a Tack Mask as well. Now, these next three classes all have the same weapon. They're just different variants because this is my favorite SMG. So I did try out a lot of different classes with it. And so we will be looking at the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh, in my opinion, is the best SMG, and yes, it is a four-round auto-burst submachine gun. That means it's a four-round burst, but if you hold down the trigger, it'll still fire like a full auto. It just shoots four very quickly, and then um, uh, it'll have like a, a, a small, like a smidgen pause, and then shoot another four. That's what it means by auto-burst. So... Um, the Pharaoh, the reason why the Pharaoh is so amazing is because it is a laser beam. If you thought the Razorback was a laser beam, the Pharaoh is even more of a laser beam. And I'm going to tell you guys also why the Razorback's not here, for some of you who are wondering why is it not here. Um, the Pharaoh is unbelievably amazing. Uh, you can actually one-burst somebody if you're in range. If you are in range and you hit four bullets, you will kill somebody with this SMG. Therefore, you can one-burst people with this SMG and the fire rate on it is also incredibly fast because it is an SMG and not an assault rifle. So that's why it's actually really good. Um, this one might be the less, the least um, manageable up close, just because it is a burst. So it's not a continuous spray of high fire rate bullets, rather it's four fast firing bullets, then like a very, very incredibly small pause, and then another four. But even that small pause gives you disadvantage up close against other SMGs, which is why it's not amazing to spray up close. But it is the most versatile, which is definitely the most useful, especially in competitive game modes. Um, and even in, you know, in public match in general, like playing Domination, I absolutely destroyed with this weapon. This weapon was amazing. So, of course, you have Long Barrel. You have people messaging you. Uh, long Barrel increases the range, of course. Stock, I will get to that in a second. Quick Draw, Aim Down Sides Faster. So the reason I have stock, and you're thinking, stock on an SMG, isn't that quite preposterous, British HD? And you might be correct, but actually, this is a hidden gem, in my opinion. And a lot of people don't think about this. Because when you aim down sights, and when you strafe, um, you don't move that quick. And with an SMG, you do move quicker than you do with an assault rifle, of course, because it is an SMG. But when you move aim down sights with a submachine gun, it is the same speed of when you move, when you're not aimed down sights, right? Makes sense, okay, makes sense. When you add stock, you move faster while aiming down sights. Yes, you move fa So basically, if you're not understanding what why this is so important, you're let's say you're moving at a speed of, I don't know, fucking 10 feet per second. I don't know, make, make this up, right? 10 feet per second when you're aiming down sights and 10 feet per second when you're hip firing. But when you have stock, now, you move 15 feet per second, which is faster than when you're hip-firing. So let's say you're hip-firing somebody in a gunfight, 
and you guys are moving, what, you know, you're strafing left, you're strafing right, now all of a sudden, you're moving faster somehow. That's because you aim down sights and you have stock equipped, and this is noticeable. You do see a noticeable difference. It's not crazy overpower noticeable, but it is noticeable, and it can give you an advantage. Especially with the Pharaoh, where you're going to be aimed down your sights a lot, because it is a very precise weapon. Stock helps you a ton. Stock helps you a ton. So definitely try it out. Try investing in the stock. It's pretty good, uh, and it, it it's really underrated on an SMG, in my opinion. Especially in this game. Uh, and of course, you have the regular set here. Not too much difference there. Now, this one only differs in the fact that it also has Ghost. This is like my pub stomping class. Uh, if I don't want to have, you know, be spotted by UAVs. If I don't want to be hit by, you know, random tactical grenades, stuff like that. That's why I have all these perks on this class. And then I have a very heavily objective-based class with a grenade and two trophy systems. If I'm going to be objective player on hardpoint. In a GB, for example. Of course, flag jacket, all that. And the reason I have Gung Ho instead of Tack Mask is because if you have trophy systems and you lay them out on the hill, uh, the, the concussion grenades shouldn't really hit you um, because the trophy systems are like little balls that you throw out. So they have a long deployment range and they also have a long protection range as well. And of course, long barrel quick draw. These are going to be your two go to perks, or I mean, rather, attachments, sorry. And then I also have Reflex Odd just because this weapon is so precise. <clears throat> excuse me, that it is a laser beam, and that having a reflex sight on it is pretty useful. You don't have to, obviously. Um, you could have a secondary instead. You could have a secondary pistol if you wanted to, but I don't really ever use those. Uh, I never really run out of ammo in a competitive match, because you usually die before you run out into zero. You're never really that amazing at slaying. And if you are, then you just pick up somebody else's gun. It's no big deal. So... Now, reflex side is, I mean, that's all personal preference. I like the iron sights on it. It's just like a little needle, so it's pretty good. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this class setup. I know I went into uh, a lot of detail with it. it. It ran a bit longer than I expected to, but hopefully you guys get the gist of, um, you know, these five classes. I really enjoyed playing with all of them. I really liked all of them. I actually maxed out the Pharaoh entirely. I prestiged it twice. I got gold camo on it already. I absolutely love this weapon. It's really good. Don't knock it until you try it. And if, you, if you're if you not doing well with it at first, just keep trying. Keep trying to use it uh, and get used to it. And it is going to be awesome because I was picking people across the map with it. I mean, like, yeah, you do get more hit markers than you do with an M8 when you're shooting super long range. But it's still really accurate. And a lot of the weapons that people decide to use, whether it be an SMG as well, or maybe even one of the more inaccurate assault rifles, can't even hit that long range because it's not that accurate and it's not a laser beam. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good, good stuff. And as always, make sure you all have a 